Hey there. In this video, we are going to look at how you can simplify and evaluate expressions using the laws of logarithms for products, quotients, powers, reciprocals, and roots. The five logarithm laws that we're going to use are the main three for products, quotients, and powers, or namely that the logarithm of a product, numbers multiplied, is the same as the sum of the logarithms, adding, and the logarithm of a quotient, dividing numbers, is the same as the difference, subtracting logarithms, and the logarithm of a power is equivalent to the exponent times the logarithm of the base. And then we have our extra two here that are actually spin-offs of the power law, special cases of the power law, for reciprocals and roots. The first one for reciprocals is the logarithm of a reciprocal is negative logarithm of that number. Re logarithms of reciprocals are opposite signs from each other. And the logarithm of the nth root of a is the same as 1 over n times logarithm of a. So let's get to using them here. First we're going to evaluate some expressions. So we have this expression here, log 50 plus log 40 minus log 2. Of course, you could put each of those into a calculator and figure out what the value is, but we can use some logarithm laws to simplify it here. We can write this as a single logarithm because logarithm of 50 plus logarithm of 40 is the same as logarithm of 50 times 40. And then we have subtract log 2, which is going to be equivalent to dividing by 2. So as a single logarithm, that's what it is. Now if we evaluate all of that, 50 times 40 is 2,000, divided by 2 is 1,000, so actually that's the same as log of 1,000, which I think you probably know is 3. So actually that is equivalent to 3. The second expression here, log base 8 of 32 plus log base 8 of 2, these are not nice powers of 8, but we can use a logarithm law to combine them together because it's adding two logarithms, so we can write it as a single logarithm of the product of those numbers, 32 times 2, right, which is equivalent to log base 8 of 64, and 64 is 8 squared, 8 to the power of 2, so then this is equal to 2. These next two here, Adding three logarithms, if we want to write this as a single logarithm, log base 4 of 48 times 2 thirds times 8. And if we multiply all that together, I'm actually going to do this division first here because I like to make the numbers smaller before I make them bigger. 48 divided by 3 is 16. So I have 16 times 2 and times 8 which if you work it all out is 256. And so we have log base four of 256. 256 is four to the fourth power. So this is actually four. This last one here, we have two logarithms we're subtracting, uh, but we have this third thing here. It's not a logarithm. So we can't use a logarithm law on all of that as is because they all need to be logarithms. But the trick we're gonna use is we're gonna write this as log base 3 of 3 because the log base 3 of 3 is 1 so we can do a kind of a reverse substitution there and just change 1 into log base 3 of 3 and then we have three logarithms that we can combine together with a logarithm law so we have log of 54 minus 6 so we have 54 over 6 and then plus log 3 of 3, so I'm going to put that on top here. You can put it beside that if you want, but basically these two are positive, so they're on top of that fraction, and this one's negative, so it's on the bottom, as in dividing. Uh, as I said in the previous one, I'm going to try and make the numbers smaller first. I'm going to do this division first. 54 divided by 6 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27, so this is all equivalent to log base 3 of 27, which is 3. All right, let's move on to another one now. Here we're going to do some simplifying of expressions. Now this involves variables here, so here we couldn't just go to a calculator, but we can still use a similar approach to what we did before. This is a little bit more involved here because now we have some numbers to start here. There's some coefficients there, so we have to deal with that. But for that we can use the power law because we can write 2 log a as 
log of a squared, and we can write 5 log b as log b to the fifth, and I'm just going to leave minus log c there. Now they're just each individual logarithms, and so we can say all those individual logarithms we can combine into a single logarithm, as in logarithm of these two things multiplied because you're adding those two logarithms. Adding those two logarithms is equivalent to multiplying. So I'm going to put a squared b to the fifth there. And I'm leaving space because this is subtracting log c, which is going to mean we're dividing by c. Now, since these are just variables, there's not much more we can do other than that. All right. Try the second one here. Similar reason here. We have 3 log m. We can write that as log of m cubed. We have minus a half log n. So actually, this is going to be like log of n to the 1 half is like square root of n. n to the 1 half is like square root of n. So I'm going to write that as square root of n. And just like in the previous example, this 2 here, this is not part of that logarithm of n. That's its own term. If it was part of that n, there would have been brackets here, but there are not, so it's its own term. And we're going to have to write that as a logarithm. Now, we're working with base 10 logarithms here because there's no, there's no base there. Since these are base 10 logarithms, we're going to write that 2 as log of 100 because that's what log of 100 is. Log of 100 is 2, so we're changing the 2 into log of 100. Now they're all logarithms. We can combine them together into a single logarithm. Logarithm of m cubed. I'm going to put the 100 here. doesn't matter what order we multiply it. That's the normal way you write that. 100 m cubed over square root of n, right? Because we have, we have this. This is subtracting, so it's on the bottom, dividing, and then that is adding log of 100, so it's multiplied on the top there. Right? You can write brackets around there. You don't need to because it's a fraction like that. Let's move on and do something else here. Now this is going to be in some ways kind of the reverse of what we did. What we just did is we took expressions that had multiple logarithms and combined them together. Here we have a single logarithm and we're going to try and break it apart and use this information that we're given here. We're given a value, uh, well a variable, that is equivalent to those two. And we're going to try and write that. So we're going to try and break up logarithm of 48 into things that are log 2 and 3 because then we can use those given values there. So 48 we could write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or in other words, 2 to the 4th, 16, times 3. And so we could write that as log of 2 to the 4th plus log of 3. And this expression here, log of 2 to the 4th, I can take this 4 and put it in the front using the power law and write that as 4 times log of 2. And then we have plus log of 3. And now we can use what we're given here. We know that log 2 is c and we know that log 3 is d. So this log 3 here we can turn into d. Not log of d, just d, because that's what it is. And we can do the same thing here. Log of 2 can turn into c, so we have 4 times c plus d. Or in other words, 4c plus d. That's our expression. That expression represents log of 48 in terms of c and d, which is what it's asking us to do here. All right, let's do one more thing. Here we're going to evaluate this expression. We're given a value of log base 2 of a, and that's equal to 5. So we need to try and work with this expression until we can use that, substituting it, kind of similar to the last example. So I'm going to start with this expression log base 2 of 4a squared and see what I can do with it. Well, this is a product in here. So I can write that first of all as log base 2 of 4 plus 
log base 2 of a squared because this is a product so it's adding those logarithms. Now since this is a power here I can use the power law there and I can take this 2 and put it in the front there like that and so I can write that as log base 2 of 4 plus 2 log base 2 of a and now I can actually go about evaluating this because one of them's a number, I know what it is. Log base 2 of 4, I can just evaluate because 4 is like 2 squared, so this is the second power of 2. So log base 2 of 4 is 2. And then here I've got 2 times, and this is actually a value we're given. We're told that it's equal to 5, so I can just replace it with a 5 there. So I have 2 plus 2 times 5, which is going to be 2 plus 10, which is 12. So that's the value of that expression. All right. And so there's a variety of examples where we simplify and evaluate expressions using logarithm laws. Mm -hmm.